Hey everybody, my name is Devin Ray Hillary, born and raised in the Bronx of New York City, New York, North America as a Jamaican Caribbean descendant, and I am autistic. I was diagnosed with autism at the age of two and a half years old, especially along with mild intellectual disability. Every year, April 2nd is known as International Autism Acceptance Day, and all of April is known as International Autism Acceptance Month. National Autism Acceptance Month is a month-long observance focused on supporting people with autism spectrum disorders. Observance of the month often involves educational events centered on learning what it means to be autistic and about the difficulties and discriminations that autistic people face, especially me. Additionally, it focuses on sharing stories and presentations, celebrating events, providing opportunities, and all other things to increase understanding, awareness, and acceptance of people with autism fostering worldwide support. Autism is defined as a developmental disorder of variable severity that is characterized by difficulty in social interaction and communication and by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behavior. Therefore, people with autism, such as myself, go through many social communication challenges and difficulties, even being either verbal or nonverbal. People with autism, such as myself, also have restricted and repetitive behaviors which vary across the autism spectrum as the following examples. Repetitive body movements, repetitive motions with objects, staring at lights or spinning objects, ritualistic behaviors, narrow or extreme interest in specific topics, and need for unvarying routine resistance to change. This announcement is to everybody who has autism, just as I do. People and I with autism should be considered as innocent victims of fate, psychologically and behaviorally sick patients and incapable of taking part in any communities. Our entire world and society should recognize me and all autistic human beings and not be defined by the disorder we have. Additionally, I and all autistic people should be allowed to have both our freedom and independence and be treated humanely. Thank you.